Hey everyone, you are Tesla Tom. Thanks for joining me today on my YouTube channel. Today we are looking at software update 2021.24.5 in our Tesla Model 3 Performance Stealth here in Sydney, Australia. It's pretty much just bug fixes and performance improvements. If you want to look at the full rundown of the features from this 24 update, please have a look at my previous software update videos. But it's pretty much the same features from 24.3 and .4. You've got car wash mode, you've got uh, mirror auto dim, you've got dash cam improvements, range display, remain connected to Wi-Fi in drive, and some new language support as well. So like I said, if you want the full rundown of those features, please look at my previous videos, which I'll leave as a link up here and also in the video description below as well. But today what we're gonna do is go for an autopilot drive in my local government area, as we're allowed to do with current public health order restrictions and going for uh, a bit of exercise as well at the same time. Uh, but what we'll do is go and look at the autopilot settings for our Tesla Model 3. So to do that, we go to autopilot. And we've got the FSD package, by the way, here in Sydney, Australia. So some of these features may not be available to you if you've just got the basic autopilot, which is included with all Tesla Model 3s. Uh, but basically with the FSD package, we've got auto steer beta. We've got navigate on autopilot beta. You can also customize navigate on autopilot. I normally have it on at the start of every trip. I have it on Mad Max mode to see what uh, autonomous driving is like at this level. Uh, yes, exit passing lane, no requirement of lane change confirmation and both chime and vibrate for lane change notification. Uh, we've also got traffic light and stop sign control. We've got green traffic light chime and also full self-driving visualization preview. Of course, summon is always on as well. All right, well, that is the software update release notes and autopilot settings. Let's go for a drive on autopilot. See you soon. All right, everyone, and welcome back. As I said, we're doing an autopilot test today. Uh, this bit of road is really windy, but uh, there is a nice uh, reward at the end of this windy road. And I'm uh, looking forward to showing you a pretty special part of uh, our local government area here on the northern beaches of Sydney. All right, let's engage autopilot. You can see that gray steering wheel icon there. If that's up, it means we can double tap the right stalk here. <clears throat> and away we go. So, uh, you know, I'm going to have a pretty low tolerance for, uh, for disengaging or taking over from autopilot uh, just because this section of road is pretty windy, as you can see on the map here. It's going to be uh, quite treacherous. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, there's actually quite a lot of cyclists as well. And uh, from memory, turning left, like winding left, on autopilot is uh, it's quite tricky. Like the car likes to hug uh, the right side of the lane quite tightly. So uh, again, I will be keeping my uh, hands on the wheel at all times here and uh, keeping an eye out for uh, other cars, other cyclists, uh, pedestrians sometimes, and uh, low tolerance for taking over as well. So I'll try and keep this video all in one cut. So uh, you'll see warts and all what autopilot is like in September, 2021 on software update 2024.24.5 in our Tesla Model 3 from 2019. Now this is quite a hairy corner. Let's see what happens. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad. I think that's a big improvement from last time I did this road. Um, yeah, not going over the lane too much anymore. Although I went over that time a little bit. It's going pretty quick, I gotta say. Uh, I would like it to go a little bit slower around corners, but um, <clears throat> speed limit is 60 kilometers an hour. So that's kind of where I want to be, that little dip there, as you can see. Uh, so I've got to, quite, got to wind right around uh, to get there. There's lots of twists and turns on this road. Ooh, yeah. Definitely some stopping there. Didn't take too wide a turn like last time, so at least it slowed down. Uh, my vision's not too bad. Uh, it's quite a nice, bright, sunny day. Not too much glare. Uh, I know sometimes when there's too much glare, the autopilot does uh, disengage. Ooh, that's not bad. Not bad. Could have gone probably slower, I think, autopilot. Uh, but uh, it's not bad. It's actually keeping to this lane fairly well. Uh, it is, as you can hear, it, it is rumbling over the, uh, the center line on those really tight turns. I'll just uh, recenter my map. There we go. So that's kind of where I want to be. 
right here down the bottom of the map so it's got to go right around to get there so far so good but there are some quite quite uh, tight turns coming up so we shall see hope you guys are doing well where you are in your part of the world Uh, as I said, we are allowed to uh, stay in our local government area here in Sydney currently, and uh, we are allowed to go for exercise, So, which is what we're going to do. We're going to go for a walk once we get to our destination. And that counts for my exercise today. That was a nice turn. I like that. Uh, nice straight section here. No issues on straight sections, by the way. Pretty happy. It does keep to the centre of the lane pretty well. <coughs> Here's another little curve coming up here. This shouldn't be an issue. I've got to say so far, it's improved a lot since the last time I took this road about six months ago on autopilot, pretty happy. Uh, especially on that right turn, as I was warning before, that right bend, uh, it's keeping to its lane fairly well. Forward collision warning, must have seen something. Maybe the glare, sometimes the glare can do that. Here we go, here's a good test. Hey, that's not bad. Look at this. It slows right down to 40 odd. Uh, can't tell whether it's rumbling because of the quality of the road or because it's going over the divider, over the cat's eyes. Oh, here's another good test. Quite a uh, hairpin here. Let's see what it does. He's a cyclist here, so I've just got to be careful. Okay, so that disengaged. I think that might have been me possibly gripping the wheel a bit tight. Here's another tight turn. Yeah, I disengaged again there. Uh, I was just seeing some of the uh, bollards or the lane. Okay, that one I that one I took over because I saw a uh, a tree branch that had fallen over. Okay, this one I had to take over. That was way too quick for me. I didn't like that. Um, this section I might just hang onto the wheel because it's pretty tight hairpin here. Let's just just be daring here. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens on this hairpin. No, no way. No, I had definitely had to take over there. You can see the camera's gone. Sorry, guys. Uh, here we go. Let me just adjust the camera for you. Whoop. There we go. Okay. That was um, that was quite rough. I'm sorry about that. Uh, that was going through that turn a bit too quickly for me. Let me just adjust the camera for you guys. There we go. Yeah, I think I will uh, take over at this point, uh, especially with the cyclists so close. Don't want to get in trouble. I'll just see if I can adjust the camera one more time for you. There you go. That's better. Yeah, that was uh, that was pretty pretty hairy there through those hairpins. So uh, yeah, autopilot's probably not quite ready for those turns. I think it's a bit more gentle now. So in summary, um, hairpins probably going a bit too quick. That could possibly be due to the lighting conditions and some of the shadows. Um, and uh, there was a tree branch that had fallen. Again, I think I'm just... Yeah, okay. I'm just going to stop there. Uh, yeah, there was a tree branch that had fallen, so I, that's why I took over pretty hastily at one point, because... Um, yeah, you know, I was going to scratch my car, definitely, because um, I th don't think the cameras can see that at this point uh, with this current software update. And uh, yeah, we're reaching almost to where I want to be, so we're just going to um, uh, confirm that we have our uh, National Park Pass with uh, the guys here, but I think there's no one around. It's closed, okay, so uh, that's fine, we can keep going. But uh, this is pretty much where I want to be. Uh, there's one more little parking area which I will park here and, um, and then I can show you what it's like out here. It's just beautiful, beautiful part of the world and a uh, nice open open parking spot and I'll just park next to this bike here I'm sure he won't mind I park right next to him there show you look at that guys how good is that right that's a beautiful spot right there all right guys well thanks so much for watching I uh, hope you enjoyed that video if you did please give it a thumbs up really appreciate that and uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not done so already yet and uh, if you've seen any other features of 2021.24.5 uh, please leave a comment below that I've missed uh, if you've gone for an autopilot drive recently, leave a comment as well. Love to hear from you. Uh, otherwise, stay safe, everyone. And until the next video, happy charging.